All right, so what I'm doing to get this squid ink is just, you can just pull the guts out and you see that little ink sack just there? So all you do is just, just separate that with a knife and just pop it in there. This is uh, the second one here, you can just see that little uh, ink sack there. You don't want to squeeze on that with your fingers. So you just um, gently just pull it out. So you can see those um, little little ink sacks there. Yeah. And what I have here is a hundred grams of my bread flour. I'm just going to make a little well, a well there. I'm going to put in one egg. So you want the egg to be at room temperature. What I also have is about six of those squid um, ink sacks. And putting them in there. Break all that up. Knead that all together. Oh yeah, I'm going to put a pinch of salt in there. I'll just put a pinch of salt in there. You can see the ink starting to come out now. Got to let this squid ink sort of work its way out of those sacks. You can see it's starting to work its way out now. So it's still fairly dry. Pass the machine on number one. And I'm just going to roll it out. And that sort of pushes everything everything together. It doesn't look much at this stage. So you just roll it out a few times until it comes together. Well, the squid ink is certainly going through it. There's no doubt about that. By the time you fold it over a couple of times and then roll it and fold it and roll it. Now she's looking Wow. Looking like it should be. The way it was before, I couldn't imagine it even coming together, Jeff. No. It's just so patchy. So, Look at it now. It's starting to resemble uh, what it should be, like a bit of uh, inner tube. Yeah, I was going to say a bit of black rubber. <laughs> yeah, a bit of black rubber. So if it looks like black rubber, you've got it right. And the idea now to just slowly go up to number two and then work get my way work my way to think so it goes a bit thinner. Wow. And then number three. Keep on going like that. And number four. What are we gonna have with this squid ink pasta? <sighs> what flavor do you reckon we should have? Squid. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> Alright, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll have squid. With our squid ink pasta. You can, once you go a bit thinner, you can cut it in half. I might go to number eight and finish it off on number eight. And what you do then is you just get your cut it in the, in the length that you want. And you have a, have a plate ready. And then you can just whack it through this this one here. Okay. Wow. Nice fresh pasta. Yeah. That looks like licorice or rubber. Now that's it. Oh, that's easy done, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Have the saucepan on the stove, half full of water, got the heat on. Just going to put about a teaspoon of salt in there and then bring that to the boil. And our water's come to the boil. Pop our beautiful squid ink pasta in there. Look at it. That's fantastic. Just going to bring that to the boil. I'm not sure how long to cook it for, maybe five minutes. Right, this is cooked. What I'm going to do is strain the water out. I'm just going to put it back into this saucepan. Take that bit of olive oil in there and then just then I'll stop it from sticking together and mix it through. Here's our squid ink pasta. 
Is that enough for you? Yeah. yeah what a bit of calamari to go with it. It's plenty. Cherry tomato, and onion, and garlic, and ginger. I'm putting that on top. I'm putting some of this palms and cheese on mine. Looks lovely. So we're going to have our dinner shortly. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.